And uh, we're going to start with Jay from New Jersey. So if everybody's ready, Jay, start them off. Uh, what's going on, D.Y.? What's up, baby? How you doing? <laughs> ah, I'm all right. Just want to take, uh, thank you for hanging out with us, taking the time to do this. Ah, thank you, um, man. Wanting to see me. <laughs> quick question. Uh, it's actually a really quick two-part question, but I think you'll get a kick out of it. Um, first off, did you get a chance to watch the Alfred Morris uh, hangout from back in the summer yet? I have not. Alfred's a clown, so I already know it's a good one. <laughs> All right. Funny part about it is somebody asked him who he got the m most knowledge from from being a rookie. He happened to mention some guy by the name of D.Y. <laughs> he said D.Y. knows the offense inside and out even better than some of the coaching staff. So maybe you have a little fun with that with him, take some credit for the stellar year he's having so far. <laughs> Uh, no, Alfred's just a good guy. A good guy. I mean, anytime you got a guy like, uh, or anytime you have character like he has, I mean, he's just willing to learn. And you know, the best thing I did was have Mike Sellers as a mentor. You know, and uh, yeah, was, you know, showed me what was right and wrong, and said, "Listen, at the end of the day, you know, you just have to take care of yourself, and not, you know, not in a selfish way, but understand what you have to do. You know, put yourself in the best position, you know, to be successful and stuff." But uh, like I said, Alfred's uh, Alfred's success is based on him, his family, his upbringing, <laughs> and everything, you know that. You know, he's a uh, <laughs> Everything he wants to be, you know, in life, but uh, you know, his accomplishments. You know, he, he's a spiritual kid. Uh, you know, easy going, <laughs> always laughing. You know, and uh, I, I can't take any credit. I just tried to help a guy who, you know, wants to help. So well, I figured to have a little fun with him, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Second part. <laughs> yep. That was it. Nothing else. <laughs> oh, next round. Hey, come on, Jay. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you want me to fire them all off at once. I thought they were going in the line. All right, next question. What was the biggest um, setback, if there was any setbacks for you, um, going into Villanova as a running back, convert into a linebacker, jump into a fullback? I mean, that seems like a lot. <laughs> um, the biggest set, the biggest reality check for me was when I got released. Uh, you know, now after uh, you know doing the gym zone there. Um, you know, I, I was here at the whole OTAs and stuff. I came to a tryout. That's how they signed me. Signed me. I tackled the guy uh, doing drills and stuff. But, uh, you know, went through the whole preseason, um, not knowing what would happen. Said I had a chance to make the team. Long story short, I got cut uh, 9 o'clock. I got home about 9 o'clock Saturday night. They flew, called me back at 7 o'clock next morning, flew me back. I was on a practice squad for two weeks. Then they cut me again September 24th. I don't forget dates like that. And then uh, it was after the St. Louis game going to the I the rest of the year, the rest of the year at home. I worked at the sneaker store for three months. I said I didn't want to do it, and then called me back and said, "Listen, we want to give you another shot. We want to try your fullback." And I made the team that year. So I think that was the, you know, kind of the biggest setback in my life, just because I've never, you know, been released or not been, you know, not like a star, but two player. You know, somewhere. And it was kind of a reality for me. So I opened, up, I opened up my eyes for a little bit. Definitely, definitely. Um, do you have any uh, pregame rituals? Any kind of certain food you eat all the time, or music you listen to? If so, what is it? I tell you what, I got three songs. You're gonna laugh at this that I always listen to before games. Miley Cyrus, First Party in the USA. Oh no! Carly Rae Jepsen. What got myself, Robert Griffin, and Royce and Alfred all sing it in the game before games. We have to start off every game like that. <laughs> it's pretty funny, but at the same time, it gets me excited. I don't know. We started last year doing the Giants game, man. I had the best game of my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why not? <laughs> hey, Whoever wins games. Yep, yep. Yep, hey, it's all the match. Hey, uh, Faison, do you have a question? Yeah, what's up, girl? How are you? What's up, Faison? Not much. Uh, first question is, what's the biggest difference uh, conditioning-wise from Villanova to the Redskins? You know what? I think it's just because I'm older, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't play just because you know I played all four special teams and right. I, play, I started every play on defense in college, but now I just get tired. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm tired. I don't know what, but uh, I just think it's just because guys are bigger, stronger, faster, smarter. I mean, you know, after thinking about what you got to do and actually going and you know performing and executing it, I think uh, you know I, that definitely pays a toll on you know the conditioning, but. You know, from a conditioning aspect in the off season, uh, college is worse, I think. But Ray Wright does a great job, of, you know, with this. But there's no limitations in, uh, you know, college right now. The new CBA said that they can, they can only be with us for like two hours on the field in the off season, something like that. So, I mean, that's the biggest difference, just the mental part. Gotcha. All right. How much uh, emphasis is put on uh, blocking for RG three since he's our franchise guy? <laughs> same amount that was emphasized for Rex Grossman, to be honest, or any kind. John Beck. It's just uh. 
you know, it's just a little different just because he's able to run with the ball a little better than those guys. So uh, I think, you know, he's more susceptible to, get, you know, get hurt or, you know, something like that, God forbid, that happens, just saying, though. But, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's any more emphasis on one player just because, you know, he is the man right now. It's, you know, <laughs> everything that he's accomplished. I mean, uh, like you said, I, I love Rex. I <laughs> love Beck. I mean, gotcha. as a person, I'm a block whoever, just like any running back this one. So you guys got Philly on Sunday. Is there any difference be, uh, between like a regular game and divisional games as uh, far as your guys' mentality you going into it? Just because you played up guys twice a year, but uh, from a football standpoint, no. But actually being in the game is a little different just because guys are hitting a little harder. You know, what you've seen last week from film, you're not going to see that just because they're not going to make those mistakes because right. coach emphasized that it's a division game. First of all, you have to win your division in the NFL to be successful or to, you know, achieve your ultimate goal, which is, you know, winning the uh, Super Bowl. But, uh I mean, it, it, I don't think it's a little different, but guys do, you know, put their hearts into it a little more. Uh, and that sounds bad and kind of contradicting what I just said, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it just, it, it's just a division game, man. You just don't like the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Any predictions for the score on Sunday? Uh, I, need, I need a win. I'll go 24-17 Reds games. All right. Nice. Let's make it happen. <laughs> uh, we got, uh, any, any special connection with the number? Just your uh, your jersey number? Always oh, been your oh, number? Or? You know what? Uh, I wear this wristband. Everyone says John Taylor is their favorite player. Just right. Um, he was, I don't say he's my favorite position. Um, actually, he wore, you know, he wore 36 before, so I seen the number open. I wanted to wear it. Like I said, Sean Safety is my favorite position. Bob Sanders, every, you know, all those guys, the list goes on. And Sean Taylor was one of my favorites. And, I mean, I just remember when he died and stuff like that. I, I bought his jersey. I bought his shirt. You know, I had, had it all, but it's kind of you know, ironic how I became a Redskin. But, um, I mean, that that just mean that's what it means to me. 31 is my favorite number, but I wore 36 just, you know, in honor of him. But plus, I mean, a great guy had it on, so I just didn't Right. Definitely. All right, next question for Bryce. You got a question, Bryce? Yep. Uh here I'm military, so heard you military brat also. Yes. Oh. Uh oh. So, I'm not a military brat. My brother's in there though. And I have a couple of uncles, but my parents weren't in there now. But I do respect the military. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Then the question is, what is your favorite thing about the Washington Redskins? What's my favorite thing? I think just a t uh, tradition. Just running out of the tunnel, just seeing all the fans. I mean. My first game was a Sunday night uh, versus the Cowboys um, like two years ago. And uh, just running out of the tunnel, just seeing seeing all the fireworks. I mean, that was my first game active. You know, my parents were in the stands. Uh, you know, I, I think that just just running out of the tunnel every Sunday, it's nothing like being at home. I mean, win, lose, or draw, you know, we have the best fans. And I'm not just saying that just because, you know, you guys are on here or this is an interview or whatever this is right now. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just being honest. You know, I'm from New York. People are loyal up there, but you know their fans are a little different. You know, same with Philly, but uh, you know, people here are just loyal to you know what they see, what they believe, what they feel. And I've never seen so many tattoos of a team on people. Bryce more. My next question is: What is your most memorable play of your whole life? Whether it be like Pee Wee, high school, college, NFL. I wow. Got them. I got a bad one and a good one. My senior year uh, in college, we were playing James Madison at home. We were going to win the division. Last play of the game, no time left on the clock. Ball bounced off my helmet. Then we lost the game, got caught in the end zone. <laughs> Terrible oh. memory to go out of college. But, uh, <laughs> favorite memory, I think, um, just two years ago when I scored versus uh, the Eagles on Monday Night Football, just because. You know, I'm living my dream right now. It's Monday Night Football. Everyone's watching. You know, the whole country's watching. Um, and it's just, it was just McNabb threw me the ball, so I was excited that he was on the team still. <laughs> um, you know, and <laughs> I think that'd have to be my favorite memory. Next, what branch of the military you're in? Uh, my dad's a retired veteran in the Army. Okay, okay. Yeah, my brother's over there. He's in the Army now. He's uh, stationed in Fort Hood, Texas. Yeah, we're stationed in Germany. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, he did say in Germany. Cool, good stuff. I'm going. He's there. actually right here next to me. What's up, pops? <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> He's right here. Hey, Darrell, thanks for well, thanks for everything you've done, man. We're rooting for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for rooting for me. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Hey, Gary, do you have a question? Gary? How about Jay? Jay, do you have another question? Yeah, uh, D.Y., uh, if you weren't playing football, um, what, what do you think you'd be doing right about now? Uh, I'm getting my master's right now in uh, sports management. I'm uh, taking two classes online right now. Um, oh, nice. I'm athletic like director at, you know, at the collegiate level. I work with kids or guys, young men between the age of uh, 18 to 25, and even you know young ladies who are either making that transition from high school to college or college to the real world. You know, so I uh, I feel like I just you know have you know a little bit of a you know history of a background or a little bit of a background just to. Uh, be able to guide people in the right direction of where they want to go in life. And like I said, I've been released. I feel like I've been through the worst part of my career. Am I going to be released again? Yeah, it's going. To, you know, football's going to come to an end someday. Um, yeah. I just wonder why I'm in it now. But I think you know, just giving back to you know younger people who are trying to go through this process, or like I said, just go into the work world. I think uh, you know I can help them. Just you know, <laughs> give them a little guidance and let them know that uh, you know, the real world isn't easy. But at the end of the day. You know, God didn't put us in this world to uh, struggle. He put us in here to struggle and not to suffer. And, you know, on the other side, the struggle is success. So that's how I look at it. Definitely. Well, good luck with all that, man. I respect, respect that. <laughs> all right. I had myself muted. I think you guys can maybe hear me yeah, now. I can hear you now, man. Wait. <laughs> all right. from? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm at work, so uh, I didn't want you to hear all the background noise. But um, uh, first question I had was... Uh, training camp, it's getting moved uh, to uh, Richmond, which I know from my buddy from New Jersey that's on here, he's not exactly excited about that, but for me, I live in North Carolina, so that's you know, a closer move for me. Um, what's your favorite part about the training camp facility where it is now, the Players Club, and uh, what are you most excited about with the move to Richmond? Um, first, I think uh, the move of Richmond will bring us closer together. I'm not saying that we're not close already, but you don't have the opportunity to go home. To I'm not saying you know I want guys to you know, be away from the families and all that stuff. But I think it's just us, you know, and I think that's what we need. Or, you know, we've been we just to kind of become one. I mean, you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, you look at Green Bay, look at New Orleans, you look at the Giants. Those guys have a core group of guys, you know, over the last, you know, couple of years since Eli's been there and they have a foundation built, you know, and I think that's something special because, you know, I don't know if they go away to camp. I don't know what they do for camp, but I just think, you know, guys are just able to get away from each other at night. And sometimes you need that to get away from football, but, I think, you know, if you put us in an environment where it's only us, I think we have no choice but to get closer. Yeah, we will fight. Yeah, we will argue. But you know, <laughs> we can fight and argue with each other over, you know, someone else. So I just think, you know, the ultimate goal, you know, obviously there's only one team happy in the end. But, you know, you look at all these teams that are becoming families. I mean, look at the Ravens. who have been doing it for a long time. 49ers have a great history that's, you know, starting to come back again with Harbaugh out there. And, uh, I mean, you look at the Texans, those guys. I mean, Aaron Foster wasn't even drafted. But now, you, you know, he's not, uh, the leading rusher in the NFL. But, it took a while for Matt Schaub to get going and stuff. And, you know, I think he's one of the top ten quarterbacks in the league. But I just think, uh, you know, something we need to focus on is just being a family, you know. And I just think being around here, it was a lot of uh, – my first year was 53 individuals, you know. And now I feel like, you know, we're starting to become one a little bit more. And I think, uh, you know, guys are starting to speak up and actually take action. And, you know, we're not doing, you know, um, the stupid stuff off the field that we would do. I'm not saying, you know, guys get in trouble and stuff like that. But I just think, uh, you know, just – I'm going to go get something to eat by myself, you know. I'm not going to go with someone else. So I think that's just starting to change a little bit, and that's what's helping us. Nice. What part of North Carolina are you um, in? the Asheville area. Um, actually, if, uh, well, I'd say Asheville. It's, it's a tiny town called Spruce Pine, but most people have no idea where that is. I do know where Asheville is. <laughs> yeah, so I know a little bit about North Carolina. <laughs> So you got any plans for Thanksgiving, man, after you beat the Cowboys? Yeah, my, uh, to be honest, um, my brother's getting ready to uh, deploy again to Afghanistan for his fifth tour. And, uh, I know. It's going to be the last time I get to see him, so i got to talk to Shanahan. Hopefully he'll let me stay there and uh, spend some time with him just because we're in season and stuff. But uh, yeah, He's gone for you know, 16 months over there. He just came back last year. He's gone again. Oh. He's gone again, so I'll be daddy to his kids again. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to him going, but, uh, you know, someone's got to do it, man. Can't you know be selfish just because he's my brother? Right. So that's what the difficulty chose. Who's your best friend on the team, man? My best friend. You know what? Ryan Turan is my best friend. Mike Sellers is my best friend. Those guys aren't here, so I probably have to say I'm closest to Niles Paul right now. Niles Paul. Yeah. Okay. So it's strong. We spent uh, a lot of time on the couch watching movies. Ladies night. <laughs> Ladies night. <laughs> oh, <good stuff>. <laughs> 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 
So how is Pierre Garçon, Brandon Merriweather? I think Jamal Brown's hurt again. So are these guys playing on Sunday? Uh, you know, I, I, I think Merriweather and Pierre are playing. They pretty practice all week. Uh, you know, so we'll see. They, they're fine. No, I, I just think you know they just need a time. And I think with the bye week coming at you know in the middle of the season, they give them opportunity, obviously, to get another week of rest. But uh, you know, Pierre is a great addition to us. We just it'll be good to come back. <laughs> Drew, what do you think of those throwback uniforms? Loved them, man. They were pretty. They were better than the Steelers, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I hope we wear them at least two more times. Um, they were straight though. Yeah. This probably makes you too for the game. Win the battle of the twelfth man. Yeah, you guys got to help win the battle of the twelfth man. <laughs> yeah. Twitter. Hail oh, to the Reds. Httr to beat Philly off the field on Sunday. That's oh. my Twitter handle. Httr yeah. nj. Yeah, I don't have Twitter, man. <laughs> I know, I was looking what? for it. What? What are you, a MySpace dude? <laughs> no, no, you probably got Black Planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a jokester, man, so don't mind me. No, not at all. All right, let's get one more question for Darrell. He's got one. We got a new person in the chat. Hola. Hola, what's going on? What's happening? You get the last question. <laughs> I don't know if she can hear you. Oh, uh, last question for me. That's you. Um, Bryce, what's up, man? <laughs> hey. Uh, last question. Um, if you could have one vacation spot, I guess the best vacation spot, what would it be? Myself and Niles Paul going to Brazil this off season. Nice. <laughs> Ever since the Snoop Dogg video, beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Amazing, I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, I got a question. Let me ask a question for everybody. Uh, yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, right now I'm a student. Where you uh, uh, go to school? At? Uh, pre med. I'm trying to get into med school, but I work in the emergency room down here in Seoul. Right. If you had 24 hours to live, what would you do? Uh, speak to my parents. Tell them I love them. The basic stuff. Oh, you're singing a song on me. <laughs> <laughs> the basic, the ge generic answers you get. <laughs> what about uh, Bryce? What if you had 25 hours to live? What would you do? Uh, I'm a teen, so uh, I'm a student at high school. In high school? I'm in high school, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see, Jay. What do you what do you do for a living? Uh, well, unfortunately, well, I'm currently unemployed. It's all good. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uh, my company shut down back in June, so it's hasn't been fun. But I've been spending a lot of time with my uh, my two year old son. So hey, God did that for a reason, man. Telling you to be in his life. That's all that means. Yep, yep. Fourth generation Redskin fan, man. I was hoping he'd be able to meet you, but he's sleeping. Hey, wake him up, man. <laughs> Tell him I got a treat for him. <laughs> you got um, what would you do? I'll just make sure everything's good for him. Make sure he's set, and uh, you know, make sure I tell everybody I love him. And nothing special, man. Just take care of my family. That's good stuff, man. Take care of that little man. He's gonna be sex uh, successful someday. <laughs> Definitely. He yells at the TV all the time. If I'm screaming at the TV, if somebody's going for, like that Minnesota game where RG3 took off. I was screaming at the TV, go, go, go. He comes running in, go, go, go. I think I started the RG3 channel in the stadium. <laughs> it was like harder when it came back in, man. It was funny, but uh, it's good stuff, though. What about, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know the other person that just joined us. What's your name? Janelle. Janelle, where are you from, Janelle? Um, originally from New York, but I was raised in uh, the D.C., uh, Woodbridge area. What part of New York? Brooklyn. Everybody say Brooklyn. Where are you really from? <laughs> Man. He's from who? From the Farragut Project near Fort Greene. I'm from Canarsie. Okay, that's what's up. I got family all over. I'm from Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> I probably got family there living there somewhere too. Uh, you know what? My grandmother had 13 kids. All of them had five or more. All of them got three or more. I'm the only person <laughs> that had to have kids. I have a bunch of the cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Every state I play in, I got tickets to give away. <laughs> but then again, I'll give away because I ain't doing that. I ain't got no money for it. I ain't, I ain't doing it. <laughs> you had 24 hours to live, what would you do? 
Um, well, right now I'm in uh, Petersburg, Virginia, at Virginia State. Um, I'm still a student. I'm going into my uh, senior year after this semester, so I'll be finishing up in the next two semesters. So you studying? That's my, uh, business management. Business management. I like that. You trying to open up a store, a restaurant, or something? Huh? What you trying to open up? Or what you trying to do with that? I'm, I'm trying to do uh, clothing right now. Hey, two chains. You know, I wear my true religious. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, but uh, I think it's time for me to get off. I think they're kicking me off. Thank you, guys. Thanks, uh, everyone. Dy, thank, thank you, Durant. We're on talk. Sunday, man. Hey, yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, God yeah. bless your God bless your brother, man. Tell him good luck and be safe. Ah, uh, thanks, man. I appreciate. It. Take care of the two year old son for me, man. I will, man. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, thank you, bro. Come out for the eagle done. feathers. <laughs> I got you. Hey, Bryce, <laughs> back to work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Later, hey, everybody guys. remember to uh, sign up for the, the Google Plus Hangout with Lorenzo Alexander in two weeks. No. All right. All right, fellas. Go pluck some eagle feathers. Out to the Redskins. <laughs>